Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claire and welcome! So today I am going to be talking about my favorite TV shows that I've watched and that I've really enjoyed and watched time and time again just over and over and some of them are like new shows that um, I just discovered I was like oh this is really good so yeah I have a list here of the shows that I like so yeah so let's get into it okay so the first show of course that I love is Grey's Anatomy um, for so many reasons because well I really like like dramatic shows that have a lot of drama or are like super like romantic kind of because it just like makes me smile and kind of makes me happy. I just love um, the plot too. They just keep like having disaster after disaster. Makes it kind of interesting I guess. But there are a lot of seasons. There's like 13 I think. And I've already watched all of them. I watched all of them in like, I don't know, like four months. <laughs> which that's a lot of episodes to watch. The next one is... Vampire Diaries, which is also a very dramatic show, and I was in love with it, and then I finished like the first, because it had like five seasons, and I watched that, I watched it again, and then they came out with the sixth season, I just watched all of it again, so all in all, I probably watched um, Vampire Diaries like over and over, at least like three times, <laughs> and it never got old, honestly, Like, and it's still a great show, but if you haven't watched it yet, um, watch it, because it's a really good show. The next one is Supernatural. So, um, I like Supernatural because it kind of goes along with like Vampire Diaries. I mean, not like the love and romantic part, but like the, um, I guess the plot kind of, like there's always a bad guy and oh wow, everything is like Supernatural and it's, oh there's monsters and stuff, oh yeah, let's kill them. So that's, I guess I kind of like those kind of shows. I feel like Supernatural shows like that would be so hard to like act in because there's so much CGI stuff and special effects <laughs> so you'd just be like standing there like screaming but like in the show you're actually like getting stabbed and there's like a demon like flying out of your mouth but <laughs> if you had to act you'd just have to sit there and like open your mouth and just scream. I don't know. I feel like that'd be like really weird to do. The next one is 13 Reasons Why. Um, that show, it was really good. Everyone loved it and they said, oh my god, it's so sad. And it, what? It was sad. It was really, um, I don't know. I cried a lot during it because it was pretty emotional sometimes and it was just like super like wow at the end when you realize what happened. It was like, oh, okay. And like, I really did like it, um, along with like literally everyone else because it was such a good show and everyone was like, oh my god, it's so great, and everyone was raving about it, which is totally understandable because it was amazing. So yeah. Um, the next show is The Handmaid's Tale, which I just discovered recently, um, like a few days ago, and I've already watched the entire first season in like two days because it was so good. Um, it was It's only on Hulu, so if you don't have Hulu, you can't watch it. I don't, probably not, um, unless you like download it illegally or something, but I don't recommend doing that. Um, but I discovered it because I heard so many good things about it, so I was like, might as well watch it and try it. I watched the first episode, I was like, this is interesting, like, it was weird, but I liked it. I just kept going on and on, and like, it gets pretty serious, like, it's kind of disgusting some parts of it, it's like, oh god, ugh, ugh, because it's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> But it is um, TV mature for a reason because there is a lot of nudity and um, a lot of like sex scenes. So yeah, and they're like pretty graphic too. Not to not to lie, but yeah. So Handmaid's Tale. It's based on a book. I asked someone if the book was good, and they said, "Um, yeah. If you think the show is good, read the book." So I was like, "Okay." The next show is The Office because <laughs> The Office is the best- okay, it's better than all these other shows that I've already listed. It is the best show ever because it's The Office and it's just so funny and it's so- like Pam and Jim are literally goals, honestly. I started to go downhill after Michael left, um, but The Office, it just gives me like so much happiness, especially like um, Kevin and uh, Dwight. <laughs> Dwight makes me laugh so much. Um, I could just sit there and then I start laughing out loud and my brother's like, what the heck? And I'm like, it's the office, man. What do you expect? 
So it is a super, super awesome show. And then another show that I like that is um, pretty similar to it, kind of the same concept, is Parks and Rec. It's hilarious, especially Ron Swanson. He makes me laugh so much. Because Ron Swanson is the best character. He's probably my favorite. And that is also a very good show. All these shows are really good, but um, I think my favorite out of all of them is probably The Office. Alright guys, so those are all my shows that I like so far. Hopefully I find more. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye!